Apple staff reveal 11 mistakes iPhone users make. Every time we buy a new phone, we are fascinated by how ideal the device is. We don't even think that something might break. Later, we look at the dead screen and can't understand what happened. Brightside has collected 11 pieces of advice from Apple staff that can help you prolong the life of your favorite smartphone. You won't believe how many rules you have already broken. Number 11. Use only the original charger. Who cares what charger you use as long as it's working, right? Nope, that's wrong. In fact, charging your iPhone with a fake charger can lead to a very sad result. You should be very careful about it. Even when you are at your friend's place, always ask them if they have the original charger. Otherwise, you might end up with a crazy phone that you won't be able to control. According to some sources, a fake charger can even set your phone on fire or make it explode. So don't be cheap! Number 10. Always have access to the phone number your iCloud is connected to. When you have a normally functioning phone in your hands, it's nearly impossible to imagine how hard it is to live without it. However, if you are not careful enough, you might end up exactly like this. Remember this little rule. Do not install any updates if you don't have access to the associated phone number. After the reboot, you will have to type in the code sent to the phone number. And if you can't do that, you will have to go through a very long procedure of restoring your account in the Apple Store. It might take so long that you will have to use some other phone. Sounds like too much trouble, right? So, if you want to avoid it, take care of the phone number. You can also link a few numbers just in case. Number 9. Don't clear all the applications in multitasking. Among people who use Apple products, there are some who are always trying to close all their apps, which is supposed to save energy. Well, here's a surprise. Actually, it's the wrong thing to do, because background applications are paused and don't need any extra energy. They do not affect your battery at all. However, when you turn them on again, they take much more energy to launch. So, this common habit does more harm than good. Number 8. Choose a protective case that covers all the important ports. Nowadays, you can find multiple protective cases anywhere you go. With characters from your favorite cartoons, inspiring quotes, your favorite celebrities, cute patterns, and many more creative images. But choosing a case for your phone based on its look is a wrong approach. When it comes to protective cases, you should be practical. A case that covers important ports will save you from having to clean your iPhone and decrease the risk of burning your charger because the port was full of trash. Yes, it might sometimes be a problem to take a case off to get to a port, but think about the advantages a case can give you. They are way better than any possible fun patterns. By the way, you can also check out another video to see how you can prolong the life of your phone. It's way easier than you'd think. Number 7. Turn off your phone in very hot weather and don't take it out of your pocket in cold weather. You have to get used to the idea that your iPhone is not as strong as you. Officially, you can only use your phone in the temperature range of 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Unfortunately, using the phone at all other temperatures can lead to very bad consequences. So, if you are planning a trip to Everest or the Gobi Desert, first of all, I salute you. And secondly, don't take your iPhone with you. You are going to need a stronger friend. Hopefully, by the time the iPhone 19S is released, it will be a little more resistant to the cold. Fingers crossed! Number 6. Don't charge your phone for the entire night. This topic can be quite controversial, but many professional magazines write that if you leave your phone charging for the entire night, the battery life will decrease. Of course, it's very tempting to leave your phone charging in the evening and be able to use a fully charged phone in the morning. However, if you disconnect the iPhone charger before the battery level reaches 100%, the battery will live a longer and happier life. Besides, many experts claim that the phone works the best when the battery level is between 20% and 80%. Well, I guess we should all reconsider our phone charging habits. Number 5. Don't leave the battery uncharged for a long time. It's hard to imagine the situation in which you'll completely forget to charge your phone for a long time. Still, you should be aware that it's no good for your iPhone. The battery might break down if you don't use it for a long time, and the next time you try to use it, you will see only the black screen. Also, if you buy a newer model of the phone, don't just put the old one aside and say, I'll use it when I need it. We recommend that you find a way to use it even though you have a new phone. In any case, don't throw it away for good. You never know when you'll need it. Number 4. Don't let too many apps send you push notifications. We all want to get immediate feedback to any of our posts and be the first ones to find out all the important news. However, constantly appearing push notifications will pretty much chain you to your phone. 
They will also drain the battery, as they keep the phone working all the time because they need a constant internet connection. The notifications can also make the people talking to you pretty angry. Believe us, we've tried it. So next time you install a new app, think whether you need notifications from it. No annoying notifications equals no stress, and no stress will make you more relaxed and happy. Number 3. Don't use location services all the time. Unexpected news just keeps on coming, and here's another one. Location services is one of the key factors that affect the battery life of your iOS device. This technology is used by both important applications, such as Find My iPhone on Maps, and by those that don't really need the location services all the time. So, to prolong your battery's precious life, go to Settings, choose Privacy, click on Location Services, and disable the feature for all insignificant apps. Your battery will thank you. Besides, you will just be a little bit harder to track. Not that you need to hide from someone, just saying. Number 2. Reboot your iPhone from time to time. A probable reason why your phone will turn off one day and none of the buttons will react is that you haven't rebooted it for a long time. This is actually very logical. Imagine that someone made you work without having any rest. I would turn off and stop reacting to anything as well. Besides, even Apple support says that to solve most problems with an iOS device, all you need to do is reboot it once a week. It's like some sort of meditation for your iPhone. Let it rest and gather some strength so that it would work properly for longer. Number 1. Don't leave Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on all the time. This is probably the most common mistake for pretty much every phone user out there. If you're one of those people who always do so, you should know that when Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are enabled and not in use, the battery energy is wasted. It's like you turned a tap on but didn't wash the dishes, or you washed them but didn't stop the water. Remember that your device always has something to send to the servers or download from them. To save the battery energy and to extend the life of your phone, turn off these features when you're not using them. Which one of these tips did you find the most surprising? Tell us in the comments section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Always stay on the bright side!